parallel to the bone, parallel to the bone, and only the periosteum is left above the bone. And once this deep incision has been performed, sonda, I can use the probe to go parallel to the line in mucosa. You see how thin is the line in mucosa exactly in this area where it was almost attached to the periosteum. It's very, 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 very risky this area because the line in mucosa is very, very close to the periosteum. So now it's possible to change the inclination and instead of being parallel to the bone, I start to be parallel to the line in mucosa and I'm using my blade to detach all muscles. Here there is still to remove the muscle from the bone. And now I can make my blade parallel to the line in mucosa. And this is how it is done. There shouldn't be any interruption in the movement of my blade below the tissue. And this is more than enough to corny advance the flap at the level of the canine and at the level of the premola. Now I have to make some deep and superficial incision also at the level of the central incisor. This is the deep and this is the superficial one which is use the blade parallel to the soft tissue so that this papilla will rotate and cover also the lateral. This papilla will rotate towards the periphery and covers also the cannon.